Welcome to The Real Deal with Jason Silverman, the podcast dedicated to helping you build the business of your dreams and live the life you always hoped for with valuable and fun tips and info to make your life easier and more fun. And now, here's your host, a man who sprinkles metal shavings on his breakfast cereal just for fun, Jason Silverman. Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Real Deal with Jason Silverman. I'm your host, Jason Silverman, and I'm thrilled to share some time with you today. Greetings from what has become the new frozen tundra, <laughs> New Jersey. With, uh, with three snowstorms scheduled for this week, I'm wondering when I actually wound up moving to Alaska. It's been crazy here. I've used that snowblower more than uh, I ever thought possible. It probably has more mileage than my, uh, my new car. So in any case, hopefully you're listening to this podcast while you're lying in a hammock sipping a drink with an umbrella in it. If so, uh, just keep in mind that I am living vicariously through you for the time being. Now, for the last couple of weeks during our mini ice age, um, I've really spent a ton of time online, uh, more so than normal. And that's actually saying something considering the fact that I run three different online businesses. Now, in all this time online, it really occurred to me that there's so many things that I'm watching and seeing business owners do, um, and there's so many things that they could and should be doing online to better connect with potential clients or you know, better engage with their current clients um, and really be able to provide an exceptional experience to everybody that interacts with them. And, and sadly, it doesn't seem like most are taking advantage of this technology that's available to us. So one of the things that I hope to achieve today is to gain a little bit of wisdom in that and we'll see how we can better leverage what we have um, for everybody's better enjoyment. Now, in any case, this morning when I looked at my calendar, I became giddy with excitement, both for you and for me. I know how blessed I am that I get the opportunity to share some time with super smart people, and today's one of those days. My guest today is the real deal on many levels, as you'll immediately see once this conversation gets going. I'm always on the hunt for superstar real deal guests who can share some success secrets with you that you can implement immediately. Now, for the folks who I work with in any of my coaching programs, my mastermind groups, or through Powerful Words Character Development, All-Star Cheer Sites, or Dance Sites Done Right, you know how much I focus on leveraging the technologies available to us to make our jobs and our lives easier, right? Well, this show is going to help us to do just that. So, today it's going to be my honor and privilege to share an amazing resource with you. You're going to love today's guest. He's got a ton of valuable information to help you succeed, as well as a fun way to, to deliver it. So, I want you to strap yourself in. Um, you're about to have a blast. So, as I'm sure you already know, I'm committed to helping business owners to become more successful, enjoy your career more, and in general, make your life significantly more fun. <clears throat> All right, boys and girls, it's now that time to stop surfing Facebook, put away Twitter, Instagram, whatever else you're playing with, um, your tablet, your kid, your dog, your cat. I don't want anything to distract you from today's show. You're about to get some great and immediately usable information, and I don't want you to miss even a second. So, before we officially get going, I want to give you a little bit of background about our guest today. Okay. Joel Kahn is an in entrepreneur, a best-selling author, a public speaker, a social media evangelist, and a mobile marketing innovator. The leading authority on new media marketing tactics, social media such as Facebook and Twitter, to help companies market their brand. He's also created top-ranked mobile apps, including the most talked-about iPhone app of all time. I definitely want to talk about that. And... Uh, not just another social media expert, Joel's been building profitable and cutting-edge internet ventures since 1995. Joel, welcome to The Real Deal. I'm thrilled to have you. Hey, thanks for having me, Jason. I appreciate it. Oh, it's, it's a pleasure to have you here. So I'll tell you what, before we get started, for those who haven't had the opportunity uh, and pleasure of either meeting you or hearing you speak or reading your books, do me a favor. Take a second and share your story with our listeners. You know, Who is Joel Kahn? Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a regular guy that uh, has always been a bit of a geek into computers and technology, especially uh, the entertainment side, computer gaming and all. And uh, I got into uh, creating my first website back in 1995 because of a passion for computer games and how cool I thought this World Wide Web technology was. And I built a website way back then that reviewed games and uh, software from a parent's perspective. You know, having young children, it just seemed like a good fit for me. And one of my first 
big successes was actually building a multiplayer game site with a uh, an innovative programmer out of California, and uh, we created one of the first multiplayer sites where people could join up from anywhere and, and play uh, hearts and spades, bridge, backgammon, chess, checkers, and the site was called ClassicGames.com, and it was subsequently purchased by a little company known as Yahoo uh, back in 1998, and that kind of uh, set off a a firestorm of entrepreneurial ventures that I've done over the years that have covered everything from software development and apps to books and speaking, information products, videos, podcasting, and uh, WordPress themes and uh, and more. Wow. Busy guy. <laughs> Very busy guy. T- tell me this. You know, you talked about creating, you know, a website in 95, which is, you know, that was already... 20 years ahead of the game back then. You know, tell me a little bit about that that website and tell me how you actually created a profitable business out of it. Well, worldvillage.com was one of the first uh, 18,000 sites in the world uh, that were on the web. And uh, it was, you know, it was a content site. We figured that we would uh, generate revenue through advertisement which was, you know, something new at that time, placing banner ads on, on sites. And we did generate a little bit that way, but really the first way that I ended up monetizing that site was I was contacted by uh, a gentleman in Washington State representing a Japanese multimedia conglomerate by the name of Takaraja Misha. took me a long time to get that one down. And uh, they wanted to license the content I was creating so they could translate it into Japanese and put it on their site and have fresh content. And uh, that was, you know, a $5,000 a month gig where basically I said, here, use my content, and, uh, and they, they sent me checks. So I monetized World Village, just not in the way that I thought I would. Um, and, of course, that, that led me to other ventures. And uh, poorworldvillage.com still exists today, but uh, because it, it kind of got ignored when other areas started taking off, it, uh, it doesn't have a lot of traffic, but it is uh, – you know, uh, something uh, along the uh, the highway that was important to me, and I'll probably keep that domain forever, uh, whether it ever, you know, grows big on its own or not. Understood. Understood. That's actually fantastic. So <clears throat> one thing you mentioned earlier was you d- you developed ClassicGames.com, which I, I do remember. Um, what was the experience like, number one, in building something like that, and then more importantly, you know, what's it like to sell something like that to Yahoo? It's good. (laughs) It's always good when somebody recognizes uh, how cool something is that you've created and then gives you money for it, you know. And so uh, going out to San Jose and being at Yahoo HQ and seeing David Filo walking around the office there, I think he was walking around barefoot. I remember, like, this is a cool place to work. And uh, (laughs) negotiating with them. And they actually got a a real steal on the site in retrospect. But at the time, you know, it was a a great deal for me and my family. It got uh, paid off my house and my cars and my credit credit cards, and uh, I've never, uh, I haven't been in debt since, and so uh, it was the, the right uh, buyout at the right time for me. Got it. Talk to me about, uh, you know, you, you mentioned that it may or may not have been, you know, or the, I should, you mentioned that they actually got a steal. Um, how would you how would you talk to somebody today, if, if you could look back at that experience, is there a way that you know, you would have coached yourself differently? Um, well, you know, valuations have changed so much um, since that time. Nobody knew what anything was worth. And today there's still some crazy valuations out there of, of businesses. But, you know, I'm a small-time entrepreneur working out of my home, um, you know, happy to, uh, to to get out of debt. And, and I think today there's a lot more um, of a track record we can look at to see what people have paid for sites and technologies and uh, make a more educated decision. Got it. Got it. Got it. What would you say, you know, of all the websites that you've created and, and grown into profitable businesses, which venture in internet marketing would you say was the most fun? Oh, boy, they're all fun. But i got to tell you, the creation um, <clears throat> of an application uh, that I made for the iPhone back in 2008 has gotten more laughs and uh, continues to generate more laughs than just about anything I've done. And that was the, uh, the iFart app, uh, something that, you know, I, I, I did on a whim, like many things that I do, did not, uh, you know, always thought that it would do well, but never expected it would pick up the uh, kind of 
uh, public uh, re- reaction that it did. And, uh, you know, it hit number one in the App Store for over three weeks and got me all kinds of media attention all over the world. Um, and it's still mentioned today. You know, celebrities talk about how they enjoy the app. George Clooney said in his Rolling Stone interview that iFart was his favorite app. So does it get any better than that? I don't think so. <laughs> Clearly not. Yeah. Clearly not. Now, in, in between all this, you, you additionally authored the book, The AdSense Code. Um, can you talk a little bit about what AdSense is and why entrepreneurs who don't use it are leaving money on the table? Sure. Well, you know, AdSense is the other side of Google's uh, multi-billion dollar advertising coin. Where people are spending all kinds of crazy money on ad words, and it allows them to bid on various keywords. And then when people type in um, on Google or any of their partner sites, their ads have a better chance of showing when a relevant keyword is triggered. Well, the AdSense side of it is the publisher side of it. If you have a site that has original content on it, you go to Google, you get a piece of code, you put it on your website, and based on the content of that page, Google will deliver contextually relevant ads to your website. So if you've got a site that's about uh, photography, you're going to get photo ads. It's about travel, you get travel ads. It's about dogs, you get dog ads. And whenever a visitor, visitor to the site clicks on one of those ads, the advertiser is charged whatever the, the price is for that click, and then Google shares the revenue from that ad click with the site owner. So it's a great way to monetize content. It's great as a source of passive income. And if you have a content site and you're not using ads, since you're probably leaving some money on the table. Got it. What does the average um, what does the average site generate? Oh, there's you know I, Google would have to give you that information. It's it's you know it's all over the map. It, it's all dependent upon um, how much traffic you get, right? If you get 50 visits a day, well, you might not even get one click. If you get you know um, 5,000 or 50,000 visits a day, well, you know you figure a percentage of those are going to click. And the other variable is the value of the content. How much do people pay for keywords that match your content? So you know if you've got a general um, keyword, you know, maybe your page is about video games, and maybe the cost for a bid on one of those ads is three to five cents. Well, you don't make a whole lot. Maybe you've got a page that's a you know maybe tied into something legal, you know, a big settlement that's taking place, and lawyers will pay you know upwards of ten twenty dollars for a qualified click. And so now you're talking real money, and it's totally all over the map. There is no average number that I could provide you with. Got it. Understood. All right. I want. I actually would love to be able to pick your brain for a quick sec. You know, one of the things that uh, one of the questions I'm usually fielding is how folks can better use social media to really build their business. Um, most of my clients are on Facebook, probably using it not to the maximum efficiency. Um, if you had to give somebody two or three main tips that they could actually use immediately, um, how would you start to leverage uh, call it a tool like Facebook? Well, first of all, you want to be real. You know, it's, it's all about authenticity. <clears throat> that means being transparent and vulnerable in some areas that really don't aren't directly related to business. You want to engage people on a human level. And sometimes that means, you know, sharing what's happening in your life so that people can see this is a real human being behind this product or brand. Sometimes it means posting um, links to content you think is going to be valuable. Sometimes it means posting a picture of a, of a funny cat. You know, it could, it could be anything, but it's all about engagement with people because people buy from those that they like, know, and trust. And like, know, and trust is created when you engage with people on a level that they can relate to you as, as a human being. So, you know, that's one thing. Don't treat social media as a billboard, as a marketing platform, although it is a marketing platform. At its core, it's, it's, it's about being social. So if you just go out there and you start blasting away on your offers, you're totally going to turn people off. They're going to unfriend you, remove you from their feed, and you'll just be talking to the you know to nobody. Um, and so along with keeping it real, is is not pitching. You know, and there's a time and a place for it. But if people are engaging with you and following you, then when you do have something to sell, you're not going to have to sell it hard. They're going to want to know what you, you've got going on because they already like know and uh, entrust you. Got it. That makes sense. As far as 
you know, switching gears to, to Twitter for a quick sec, do you feel like um, it's a very, you know, your rules are, um, your rules are congruent for, for that platform as well? Absolutely. All social is the same. So, you know, the, the way that they operate, uh, you know, the rules of engagement pretty much are the same. You want to keep it real and, and engage with people in an authentic way so they can see you're a real person. The way you would engage with somebody face-to-face at a, you know, networking event or a party or a dinner, it's the same thing. You know, it can't all be about you. You have to ask questions. You have to see how you're going to bring the most value, how you can take your God-given passions, talents, skills, abilities, personality, and bring something of value to the other person. You know, if you make it all about them and what they need, then you're going to get what you need. I think Zig Ziglar said it, right? You get what you want when you help enough, help enough other people get what they want. There it is. Got it. I love it. I love it. Well, let me ask this question because um, obviously you are you are the man when it comes to this. How can our listeners find out more about you, and how about how 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 can our listeners find out more about you, and how you're able to help um, various entrepreneurs to succeed? Uh, that's real easy. I think I'm the only Joel Com in the world, and my last name is spelled with two M's. So and it's my real name too, just in case anybody's wondering. So if you go to joelcom.com, uh, you can see there on my blog how to uh, bring me in as a speaker, uh, how to find out about my books, how to find out about uh, hiring me as a consultant. I do that on a limited basis, um, and uh, some of my entrepreneurial ventures, and of course anywhere on social media, just look up Joel Com, and odds are you will see me looking back at you. <laughs> my uh, my last question for you is is absolutely one of my favorites. It's you know if you could give business owners just one solid piece of advice to either help their business or more importantly you know help them live a better life, what would that piece of advice be and why? It would be get out from behind your computer um, because uh, your business is about people. And while you can accomplish quite a lot with email and through your blog and through social media and Hangouts and Skype, get out and go to events where other people who are serious about what they're doing show up. When you show up and can eye-to-eye with other people, shake hands, meet old friends, make new friends, discover how you can bring the most value to others, I think that is where business really happens. And so I make it a point, whether I'm speaking or not, to go to as many events as possible because that's really where it happens. Fantastic. Great tips. All right, Joel, thank you so, so much for joining us today. I know how busy your schedule is, and I really appreciate you joining us today to share some wisdom with us. Well, it's my pleasure, and thank you for all you're doing to inspire and encourage entrepreneurs. Thank you. Well, folks, that's all the time we've got today. Thanks for tuning in to The Real Deal with Jason Silverman. For more information about private coaching or to see if you'd benefit from one of my mastermind groups, please visit me over at www.jasonmsilverman.com. I look forward to helping you achieve the success that you truly deserve. Now, until next time, I'd like to leave you with this. Get out there and be the real deal. Set a goal. Make a plan. Work like hell towards it. And achieve the success that you truly deserve. Now's the time, folks. Get out there and make it happen. Go get them. This has been Jason Silverman, and I have, hope you have a spectacular week. You've been listening to The Real Deal with Jason Silverman. To access the great resources mentioned in the show and for information on coaching and mastermind group opportunities with Jason, please visit jasonmsilverman.com.